Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm sure you've heard all the buzz about the Google Home Hub and continued conversations. And if you have, but you don't have that feature yet, let me show you some of the tips and tricks for going ahead and getting this working. And this doesn't matter what country you're in. Now, just so you can see this working, here is me asking the initial question, and it's my favorite question. And then you can see up top left, the Google Assistant waiting with just that little half circle or quarter circle icon for the next question. Now, here I am asking the next question. And the funny thing is, when you say thank you now, you get this additional to. sound and treatment from the Google Assistant. Now, there's a couple of things you need to make sure just to, just to ensure that continued conversations is going to work. And then I'll give you some of the nuances to make sure that this continues to work for you. So inside the Google Home application, we're going to go down to the bottom right into the account section. Now you'll have to scroll down depending on whether you're in an Android device or an iOS. I'm in iOS, so I have to go down to more settings in the Google Assistant, but in an Android, you just have to hit that settings up there. So I'm going into more settings and now I go into the Assistant side. The first thing you wanna check is continued conversation. If you don't have that feature, Go ahead into your phone and change the language for your phone. Now, I'm not going to show you that on both of the devices here, uh, both of the types of devices, but essentially that's in your settings. On an iPhone, it's general and it's languages, and then you can go ahead and change to English US. And you could do the same thing on Android device. It's in a languages section there. But make sure it is, and then you should see that continued conversation show up in your application. So it should show up the next time you enter into the application. So make sure that's turned on. Now, what you'll actually notice here is my Google Home Hub, my Lenovo Smart Display, they're not showing up because here in Canada, we at least have access to continued conversation. So I've left my language in English Canadian on my phone just to show you that there can be differences here and you don't necessarily need to see uh, the devices in order to get them to work because I have mine working here. So we're going to go now into languages. And I will show you how simple this is and how effective actually it is because you saw continued conversations working and I'm going to select my smart display language as Canada because right now it's only a available in the US. So now that I've changed it, let's go ahead and ask our Google Assistant the same question. Who is Scarlett Johansson? According to Wikipedia, Scarlett Ingrid Johansson is an American actress and singer. As soon as I go ahead and change that back to English US on a smart display, it is going to work. Now, I had to give it about five to 10 seconds to make sure it had basically gone into the device and all of my smart displays, but I'm sure we're ready by now. So, who is Scarlett Johansson? According to Wikipedia, Scarlett Ingrid Johansson is an American actress and singer. So there you go, it's right there. So now I have German at the top here. I've gone ahead and made a modification and I have English US as my secondary language and this works with continued conversations on my smart displays. Now what I'll tell you, there's a little nuance here that I wanna make sure that people understand or you will lose continued conversations and you'll be saying it's not working for me. So hit none and go back to the screen. Now you'll see that down here my smart display still says English United States and this seems to be important somehow there seems to be a secondary check going on behind the scenes here unfortunately and this will be feedback I send Google but make sure it says that when you don't have two languages selected and then go back and select English United States as your second language that seems to keep it all maintained and it ensures basically that I can use continued conversations on all of my devices. Who's Angelina Jolie? According to Wikipedia, Angelina Jolie is an American actress, filmmaker, and humanitarian. Is she still married? Sorry, I can't help with that yet, but I'm trying to learn. 
You don't know if Angelina Jolie is married? She was married to Brad Pitt, Billy Bob Thornton, and Johnny Lee Miller. That Billy Bob Thornton thing really still bothers me. All right, guys, well, there you go. Hopefully this has you set up utilizing continued conversations in your home. Really, your phone language doesn't seem to matter, although you could set that to English US as well as one of the languages. If you're on an iOS, you've got to set that as your primary. But if you're on an Android, you can set that as one of your languages and even the primary language if you're all right doing that. That seems to help with other features showing up in the application. So that's a little piece there for you as well, you might need your phone to actually show the continued conversations capability.